actually instead of actually going to the movie theater, like, I always do when I go see films and any kind of horror films or anything in general, I go to see a movie theater. But here there is a movie theater here, but the problem is it is kind of far distant. Sometimes I go to theater if it's possible, but it's very very rare if I can go even to see a film. But mostly, maybe occasion I probably get to watch like a black panther in theater or um after maybe theater but this one is um Halloween usually it's like a three franchise film was actually what happened was the 2018 version of Halloween um most normally retconned the all the originals from the what actually happened before retconned all of them and now we have Halloween franchise Halloween 2018 Halloween kills and Halloween ends. Mostly Halloween ends is the final chapter of Malcolm Myers and Laurie Strange's adventure. But people say that this is the final film, but this is actually a final film from Doom. People say, ah, I have looked it up and looked at it and it says that it's a final film from Doom, but it, there might be Doom House there might be more coming I wish to the robot yet but the thing is even though it's the final ending of Halloween ends um I'm going to make this a spoiler video because people have not seen the film or the guys which they do or anything like that but yes let's begin with the synopsis that even though this movie can do well in the box office I mean it's 5 out of 10 IMDb, but the thing is, I enjoyed Halloween as an 18 from Batman, and Kills was good too. Halloween as an 18 was fun and excitement and enjoyable. And Halloween, uh, Halloween, the other Halloween film, Halloween Kills, was decent of a film to enjoy. Halloween Ends was still fun and exciting and still enjoyable for Halloween, spooky day, whatever. It's still cool and fun. But let's talk about the thing the synopsis in the movie that I think about the film or whatnot. Four years after the last encounter of a mass killer named Michael Myers, and Lois Joyce is living with her granddaughter and trying to finish her memoir thing, you know what that memoir? Oh, memoir, sorry. Finding the, uh, the yeah, grand. Uh, she's doing uh, the Laurie Strode, whatever her name is, a character. Um, what's the name of her character? So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Jimmy Little Curtis is actually placed the character Laurie Strode, right? Laurie is actually writing a memoir about her, all her stuff that she had in the past, whatever, whatnot. So, if you also noticed that there are some small tie ins. Not tiny, but small, small Easter eggs from the original films here and there, where Laurie actually survived so many attacks, and she still survived from like Mars death. And a lot of people I have seen the first uh, Halloween Kills. Um, there's one. Per, I mean, there's somebody actually really survived Michael Myers death. It's the old lady. I don't know what her name was, but um, I think she's a uh, black, uh, black character. Um, I forgot her name, but she was a side character mostly. But like usually a lot of people died in Halloween because what happened was she literally survives the death of Michael Myers. Mostly what happens is that Michael Myers actually stabbed through, through her throat. I don't know how she survived from that attack, but she surprisingly she survived that magical death of the weirdness. But let's continue. Uh, but Michael Myers, uh, uh, Myers has not been, been seen since, and mostly he's literally hiding. Um, anyway, uh, so see, Lori's family decides to, uh, liberate herself from rage, fear, and embarrass her life. However, the young man stands accused by murdering a boy that he was babysitting. It ignites the castle of violence and terror to force Thorn converts evil and the control. Okay, let's talk about the character named um mostly talk about the character Corey. Carrie, I'm gonna 
these heavy things are really good. There we go. Oh, corn weed. There you go. Mostly Cody was not, he is not actually evil, but the problem is, but let me explain that in a minute, what his thing was, if I can find, where I found it from actually. It's supposed to be here, I mean, where I found it earlier, but let me see, it's supposed to be in my, wait, 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 wait. And okay, but yeah, uh, the Cory soon becomes a conduit for Michael, going so far as wearing a, a mask, an iconic mask, and getting to get revenge on those people who have tormented him for those years since the child died under his care. Cory started to delight in killing, which becomes more gruesome the movie goes on. Mostly, what happened was Cory was babysitting a boy, a kid. Mostly, mostly he, the kid was jumped up. It's a stupid problem. What Kim literally did is lock him up on the door. Literally lock him up in the door. Corey. So, uh, Corey was said that something is happening in uh, the scene and the kid is in trouble or not. That's maybe what we should, should do. And mostly, the kid actually um, tricks him and locks the door. He, uh, Corey gets stuck on the door behind the door. And Corey Cor is very hesitant, really scared, not scared, but really angry and peeved. But the stupid little kid is right in front of the door where Corey was actually going to kick him in the door. And mostly, Corey did not know that he was actually right next to him, actually, so he did not know. He literally was an accident. So mostly, no one knew it was an accident, and people thought it was actually a murder, so it's kind of sad. As well, but still, but even then, Corey got blamed for it and tormented for many, many years. Mostly, every gets tormented for many years. He is um, gets threatened and tormented for killing a boy that was little accidentally out of his fault. Think about it: his little boy's fault was living in the way of the door, and he didn't even say that he was. Mostly, he knew the Corey should have known the kid was literally next to the door. So he was like yelling, literally laughing. I'm not sure if he was yelling, I think he was laughing. Um, I felt like the tone was a little bit far distance, laughing and giggling mostly. It looked like it was far distance. That's what, that's what people assumed it was, but mostly it wasn't. So mostly he was a little close to the door and he kicked the door and the little kid fell over the stairs and broke his neck and literally died from oblivion. Poor kid, you should bring a bit about it. Mostly that's mostly the most fault, but the kids is also the small kids fault to blame because he did it, he caused it. But you can't blame him for that. But even then he was tormenting all his life for all these things. And mostly um Corey actually the coins, but um, the cast of loot. Uh, I find it. That's the cast of loot. Um, James Judy plays. Oh, well, people say that that is not Michael Myers. People say Michael Myers is playing a different person, I think. Uh, usually Michael Myers is a different person playing as Michael Myers usually, uh, but in this one, he is not playing Michael Myers. Usually, uh, Judy, James Judy Combs was supposed to play Michael Myers, I think. Let me check this so I can confirm that. Uh, see, Michael Myers, see, James Judy Combs was Michael Myers. Was, he was supposed to be played by that character, but I think they actually, it's a different person, the shape. I don't know what the shape is, but it's a random thing, I guess. It's a different person, maybe. Yeah, I mean, mostly it's the, uh, 
I'm not sure who the person who plays Michael Myers is actually. Uh, can we let me see his face? I think we do a little bit, but we don't know who plays this thing. That's the thing. Um, it might be the same person, but I'm not pretty sure about that. But, no, see, like, uh, Allison, uh, the Lori Strokes, uh, Allison, um, actually goes out and things like that. And, friends, uh, Corey getting tormented and things like that. And most of this is actually started right after Halloween Kills ends where, uh, where the, uh, Judy Kears, the person who played the character for the daughter, uh, let her dies and Halloween Kills and she's literally dead from Michael Myers. So Michael Myers literally kills her and she literally, she dies. Mostly it was kind of her stupidity to go even back upstairs and staring outside the wall and not to honest, I didn't even read the movie music. She should have not went upstairs, actually. She should have stayed next to the people. But I think they did it that way so I can make a continuation of the story. So, whatever. But even then, that's the most stupid thing. I don't know why she went over there. I just think my mom went over there. So, Lindsay Balls, she does return again. She comes back from the Halloween Kills movie, the last one. Deputy Frank, he does come back. He is still there. Officer Melody, mostly, he gets brutally murdered by, I think, Corey or Michael Myers. So mostly, um, he, people still permit Corey for all the stuff he kind of did when he was a kid. Mostly, it was not his fault. It was literally by accident. People don't know that. I think that's the kid's name, Carrie, I believe. That's the kid's name. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's the kid's... No, 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 that's a different character, never mind. And that is another side character, Carrie, I think, for the void side point. Yeah, I think he does that as well. Mostly he's a different side point of that as well. Uh, obviously, Molly, he does die, too, as well. There's a lot of people who die in this film. Not, actually, not too many people do. Um, Terry's friends died, really died. Um, Alden died. Officer Mullen, he does let her die as well. Emily Bronx, I think he, I think she survived. No, no, she is dead. She dies, and Dr. Matz dies at his house. Michael Mars comes back, and sort of in a way. Not kind of Michael Myers, but anyway, uh, go mostly in the last film, Halloween Kills, he hides. Uh, he's hiding somewhere, and he's under the sewer somewhere hiding. And Corey, that's an old guy from underneath the bridge, is like, uh, Michael Myers, something, 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 whatever that is. And he goes underneath, Corey goes underneath the bridge and searches for Michael. Michael is literally hiding somewhere, hiding. He is literally hiding over there. He is hiding, and we don't know where he is, until Corey sees something from there, and, and Corey, uh, Michael does not kill Corey for a reason, he doesn't, he is still alive, so Corey survives Michael Myers' his death, I don't know if it's possible, but Corey, uh, Michael actually holds his hand, closes the door, and Michael sees tragic accident that happened to the kid um, before we killed them by mistake. So that is the big what happens for the part of the film in a way. But it continues on from there. So when that happens, Corey goes on rampage killing for over uh seeking revenge on people pissing him off, literally pissing him off. There's certain people he does that kill, he does certain kill a lot, there's certain, certain people who are him off a lot. And when that happens, he gets really, really irritated. But Corey, he does die, but most of the problem with that is that he was a little bit, um, torn, tormented by the past of things happening. So mostly, when he, think about it this way, um, Corey was literally with Michael, Michael's kind of training, 
coin to become a conduit in a way. But mostly, even though Michael cannot do most of these things on his own, just I don't know if he was healing or damage making, I'm not sure what the hell happened. Maybe he was healing or damaged. But the thing was, he was hiding. And Michael gives him to become a conduit of becoming, of becoming the next slash of thing. He finds a mask, he wears it, and he becomes one of the kind of person on the And Corey, Corey starts killing people. Uh, but he does not kill his father, but he does kill his mother. Corey kills his mother, who will be killing her. He doesn't want to say that's, that's kind of sad. But Michael does not kill his dad, but some uh, the other kid actually kills them by this not only the person who mostly he should know because he was then shooting at the person but mostly he shot the father dies. He was not Corey, he did not kill his dad so thank god on that one. I am very sad if that ever uh, happened like that. But like I said, um Corey did like his dad a lot. Mostly I doubt he would have killed him anyway but that's just he might have killed he, uh, he killed his mom but he would have probably killed his dad. Even then but other than that, noticing that particular point, uh, this movie is subpar to the original ones. Original ones are really, really fun. Each two is good. I think mostly Halloween. Uh, let me see the Halloween. Uh, oh, okay. I'm oh, sorry about that weird back turn. franchise we know uh, I think Halloween Return of Michael Myers I think yeah I think I've seen the Halloween first Halloween uh, 1987 I've seen that one Halloween 2 I've seen that one I think I've not seen Halloween 3 season of the witch I've not seen that one I've seen Halloween 2018 and Halloween ends and Halloween 4 Return of Michael Myers I've seen that one also I've seen all of that Except the third film, the season of the witch. I've not seen that one only, but I've seen the other ones. Uh, I think there's more than that one. Uh, there's more on the list somewhere. still within in the ecosystem of Halloween's story arc anyway. Uh, mostly Lori's stories, like I said, she did survive most of the attacks from Michael Myers, so he, she does survive most of all the attacks, literally. There's some little hints here that how she survived, or she uses a uh, kind of pinning needle and a lot of different things of killing him. But yeah, there's some small things, shows that she survives here and there. Also, where the, um, have, like I said before, if you have noticed from the original Halloween movies, if you have seen Michael uh, grabbing a person and putting him on top of the wall, as a sign from the original movies as well, uh, where uh, one of the, uh, you know the doctor girl, like, I forget her name, is, but uh, she is, uh, she got killed by Michael Myers. Obviously, after thinking, there's actually a little bit an interesting side note, because that part tells where interesting things from the old movie that she, uh, he, from the old movies that that's how killing a person, by the way, that actually shows in the older film, old films. Uh, Halloween H2O, 20th anniversary there, wait a minute. 
Ça, c'est pas le cas. Oh non. Premier point, il me bouge, c'est. Et en vrai, euh. Une seconde. H2O, et on va peut-être parler de H2O. Why are they doing another one? I think this is the same thing, but they kind of like. Yeah. They might have just made the same thing. 20th anniversary later, or. I don't know. I don't Like I said, I forgot to mention, I did see Resurrection. Oh, there it is. Now it's loading fully properly now. Oi, oi, oi. I usually took slow last time. And I did the... Yeah, Halloween. Yeah, like I said, I've seen that one. The first one of 1978. I've seen that one once again with my new game. Halloween 2, I've seen that one in 1981. I think I... Yeah, I've seen that one. Uh, third one, I've not seen. Season of the Witch. I mean, it's an 18. I liked it. It's good. How it ends, that is the other one, that was his latest one right now. And as I said, it is decent, not quite, but decent. Uh, Richard and Michael Myers, I enjoy them a lot. Uh, to, uh, H2O, I have not seen that one actually. Even I, I only, yeah, only two I've not seen, only, only a couple of ones I've not seen is Rob Zombie. I've not seen Rob Zombie Halloween, does a nine. Or I've not seen H2O, I've not seen that one. And. And uh, Halloween 3, I've seen the Witch. I've not seen those three just yet. I've seen the ones. Um, Halloween Kill, I've seen that one. Rob Zombie. Anyway, Rob Zombie's Halloween. I think Call the same thing. Oh, this was, there's actually two Rob Zombie films. Okay, that, that part didn't know. Rob Zombie 1 and Rob Zombie 2. Okay, I've not seen those two at all. I've not seen any of those. Well, that's a lot of them I've seen. Uh, Michael Myers, yeah, I've seen the first of Michael Myers. I've seen that one. That's a good one. That's a really good film. Uh, Halloween 5, Revenge of Michael Myers. I think I've seen that one too. I'm not quite sure if I remember that one too. I think I might have seen it. Uh, Halloween Resurrection. That one, I'm not really sure if I've seen it or not. I might have, but I'm not quite too sure. I think that's all oh, it for the franchise for Halloween. Look, once more, let me know Halloween 2018 retcons all of the original Halloween movies in general with the restaurants and things like that. Mostly retcons all of them except the original one. Original, original one that came before the first film. I think Halloween 1 or 2. It doesn't retcon those two, I believe. I think uh, Lori Strokes is in that one too, I believe. But presumably so, I think. They don't recommend those two movies. I mean, only the, maybe the first one and the second one they recommend both, or they don't recommend both. They keep on uh, keep the contact contracts with one or two, keep them both, and recommend the rest. But Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends are still in that critical part of the story. But it recommends the other films, and they don't exist anymore before. So mostly the one 1987 is good. Halloween 19. 1981, they are both, both movies stayed in the story or for Halloween story. The new the latest one, Halloween, which is 18, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends. So, yeah, I mean, other ones, like I said, are very kind of fully. So, what do I think about this movie in general? It's like, like I said before, it is a pretty average film. If you are a Halloween fanatic, like I am, like a Halloween particular stuff, like Halloween movies and typical things. You can definitely enjoy Halloween movies if you like. Mostly this movie is released in theaters too. Now also it came in Peacock. If you want to watch this movie, you can get a pay for membership. But you can also watch free other places too as well. But like I said, if you want to pay a ticket for watch Halloween, kill a Halloween ends. It's like I said, it is a pretty old a film. Like, I'm gonna say like 6 out of 10. Like, that's a generous thing I'll give it. Like I said, it's a 6 out of 10. The Halloween Kills was like a little bit much better than Halloween Kills. 
even though the, the story ends with Michael Myers, the mom dying and, and or, or, um, or, um, Lois Strode and the daughter, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Allison actually takes, uh, both of them, um, uh, takes Michael to a scraper thing where all the cars and things break the same big stuff. So mostly what happens is the final battle. There's literally a final battle too with Michael and Roy Shorts too. This epic fighting battle and things like that. So mostly um what is happening she actually literally pretends to kill herself because the cops and things like that. Mostly she does not. But the thing is um, Corey is also trying to kill Lori to um, Lori Strode's also. But the thing is, he fails miserably. And, and he stops himself and thinks that he's dead. And he, and he, and he's dead. And mostly, he stops himself and he buries me there. But, but she is holding the knife. And her Allison comes in. Shit, you killed my boyfriend. And, before she she goes out, cries tears. My comrade comes out, comes back, and literally snaps his neck. He is still alive. The kid is still alive. The is still alive. He's not dead. He's like snaps his neck. He's dead. No, that sucks. So he does that. Mostly Corey was must. You know, the thing was he was not a he was not a bad person. He wasn't at all. He was a very gentle person, and he was. Uh, mostly tormented all his life once again. He is not a bad person. He was just tormented and cursed by the people. They have one another person to become the next book man. Mostly, uh, mostly, um, uh, yeah, mostly he was there. Hurry, dad's calling me. Can you go tell him to do something? So, yeah. I forgot what I was saying. Alright, sorry about that. I got interrupted and I forgot what I was about to say in my thing. So, uh, so mostly in Michael Myers, uh, he gets, what's it called? He gets, he was infected by the people. Mostly, he didn't kill the kid by mistake. It was literally a mistake. He didn't even know what happened. Things happen too fast, and the kid died by accident. But people turned against him, and things he killed him by and a purpose, and things like that. And that actually tormented him for a long, long time. Actually, made him much more evil inside. Mostly, he was not a bad person. He just wasn't. He was just a sensitive person that made him that particular person we see now. And turned now he turned into a not a monster, but turned into a crazy person. Seeking revenge in person literally pissed, really pissed them off in general. So, yeah. So, when that, when he got pissed yeah. off. In the diary, he can know that it is like this. Yeah. So, mostly when he got pissed off in general, he is pretty mad. And he started doing killing sprees and killing a lot of people. Well, not, not a lot of people, but killing a lot of people in general. But people who pissed him off. Uh, but not this, like some people he doesn't like, the other people he doesn't like, uh, here and there, as before. But other than that, it's like, he does that. I mean, mostly he just a really misunderstood person. Tormented. And not cursed, but he's like, he was a conduit for Michael. Because he can't do most of the stuff on his own. Then he finally came down from the hiding, start killing, coming back with all his drones again. I don't know why she got the thing from all his I think I know the reason why. Because she escaped from, ex escaped from the original franchise, the original film, the first film. He wants, Michael wants to get out of her from surviving for this long. I'm surprised she survived that long for the franchise. I'm very surprised. I think she survived in H2O also, and other particular films. Uh, she, she survived from other Halloween films too. Enjoy. She survived. No, she was survived from all other films. She is not die. She survives. She does not die. 
but even then she survives. She does good things to help people and even um, helps her kid thinking that corn is a bad bone. She knows that something is up. Even the even the kid the the small little kid's father and the mother, right? Mother's vigilance. Yeah. She knew she she does not know that it was an accident by the kid babysitter. But the father knew it was an accident in a way. Probably by an accident. But by then he found it already. When he saw his eyes he knew that he was a different person. Not the party that that person was there. Different person. Consumed by evil. Mostly. Pure evil after that. He was consumed by evil because people tormented him so much many years. And it wasn't right. So he got tormented and started killing stuff. Yeah, he definitely started killing a lot of people. Uh, he killed the radio station guy. He's dead. Uh, he kills the other kids. They are dead. Uh, he does not kill the dead, but he, the other guy kills the dead by mistake. And the father dies. And he also kills the mother. It's kind of strange. That he kills his mother, but not his dad. I think he didn't know that the dad was dead, but it didn't matter. But other than that, the, the film is. A, this is a lot to. For this film, it's a lot to put in because even this is the last movie of a. Or Halloween story arc in general. Uh, this is like in the whole movie alone. It is. It's actually an hour, or two hour, an hour max, an hour or two hour max. Like, I'm not really sure. But other than that, the film was okay. But it does end or in a way where after Michael Myers dies, the light is bright because we know that he's no longer there and. The monster is gone forever. If you've seen the original ones, each time when Michael Myers dies, it's still dark. That means the man is still alive and out there somewhere. That part I never knew that pretty good part existed. All the weird type shifting parts. That's another detail that it's kind of cool and interesting. Mostly, you know that Michael Myers is a freaking condo. He's not even aware of his face. He comes back to life. And we don't freaking know how he comes back to life, he just does. That's just a weird story. He goes after the shot, beaten, pelted with bullets, punched in the face, kicked, broken face, broken face, you know, in general. He comes back to life in the world. That is a crazy, crazy kind of person. Oh my god, that's weird. I don't even know how he comes back to life, but he does anyway. He comes back to life much more stronger than he usually was before. But this one feeling like was much more weaker in general. But even though Michael was kind of like kind of weaker, he is a little bit still brutal. He is still brutal from before. He doesn't have a lot of brutalness that he had before in Halloween Kills. Halloween Kills was a lot more brutal, a lot more bloody and gory than this one was. It is still bloody and gory, but not as much as Halloween Kills was. Halloween Kills was much more better is because it had a pretty interesting plot, interesting story, interesting everything. Halloween Kills was really cool too, but the problem it has, it had a lot more diversity to it. It was okay, but still decent. It's still had fun with that too. It's not a lot of run, it's not that exciting with that pack. Trail was still interesting. But other than that, this one was still okay. But even though I didn't, there's some characters I did care about here and there, the sad notes here and there. But other than that, the story does kind of end with the people who made this movie for them. But I don't know if they're gonna if, if they gonna continue with the franchise, so be it. But the Lori Storch that will no, no longer be in it. She, uh, she's no longer be in the franchise anymore because she's done with this movie in general because Michael Myers literally dies in this film where he's kinda of literally dead. And it's literally it's literally like um, he gets literally uh, scrabble into a body in a scar a uh, car machine. Not a car machine but uh it's like a, when you put metals inside, it gets kind of like, it gets broken up. They put him in that. But like his body literally gets put inside of that thing, and it gets crumbled up into a weird ass case. That's so gross. And some blood, oh, explodes, and uh, then it's pretty dangerous. But the thing is, he gets flattered, and he literally dies. And he's all the, uh, uh, boogeyman, 
disappears. People always say the boogeyman never dies, but is he still dead? People say that even though Michael Mars is dead, maybe his spirit is somewhere else. Someone else, some other person, who knows? But, like I said, even though he is dead in Halloween ends, we don't know if he will come back. It's, he's bloody dead. Is he, is he dead? Think about it. Every movie I've seen so far, he comes back to a life since one shape or form, any kind of matter. Even, even all the franchises continue on and look at the franchise more and more and more. Even Fast and the Furious, they do the main damn story as well. Fast and the Furious was a pretty damn cool car racing. They kind of went to a different ride of the story, continue on, a different story, continue on. It's okay, sort of. But even then, it's still fun. Even though the story was kind of milked to the franchise, it was still decent for a film to for Halloween, for Night X, and things like that. But, who you knows, he might have spirit was landed somewhere else, or somewhere else will have it, or he was spirit. Like I said, spirits will go in the room. If he dies, he is dead. But, he still probably won't do that, probably. Or, it will put some other body control in his face. <coughs> but, there. This is probably the movie that's like 6 out of 10. Not great, but 6 out of 10. A bit average for the film, but it is not shit. But it's still okay for a film. If you're a Hollywood fanatic, it is still a good watch and interesting enough to for you to enjoy. But even then, it's just there. I mean, if you want to watch movies like this, you can. I think AMC does, like, where if you're an AMC or if you go to an AMC local theater, you should go to, like, a um, Halloween bash where they have, like, not a bash, but a double feature or a Halloween 2018 will show. A Halloween kids will show. Kills will show. Watch those two and Halloween and start right there. Boom. You got a double feature and you're watching another one after that. So it's a double feature combined together with Halloween. Kills the Halloween ends to it. I think they did. I think they did it like that too. I think the double feature, triple feature. I'm not sure what they did, but the man did one of those. One of those two. A feature, triple feature, where you watch. Oh, well, Halloween and Halloween uh, 2018, Halloween Kills, and Halloween uh, ends right there. Or you just watch double feature and it's done. But yeah, I mean, but if you're like I said, if you do like Halloween, watch the franchise. Start from the original, then start from the. The ones that wreck on everything that we did in the It was the best one from Halloween. Literally, literally the best one in my own, own opinion. Halloween 2018 is one of the best ones I really, really enjoy. Top, top, top one of the best ones I really enjoy. Halloween Kills, like I said, is right above it. Not like an 8. And Halloween Kills, a little like a 6. It's because if you noticed, it's not doing well as the other films did. So, that just depends on the people and their own point of view of this film. So, who knows if they're going to make a sequel or not, or this lip said it's ending, so it's ending. So, we'll see what's going to happen next in the franchise, if they're going to continue, or if it's going to be done completely. Mostly, it's done, for now, possible, but yes. Uh, what you guys think of watching the film? Did you guys enjoy it? Did you have a great time with it? Or do you think this movie was not great? So start with that my channel guys. Tell me if this movie is good for you or not. And hope you guys liked the video that I told you in all the franchises I've said which one was the best in my own opinion and which ones are the good ones. Because like I said, I talked about Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends, and what my thought of the films were really, really interesting. And yes, of course, Halloween 2018 was the best of all the all the Halloween movies that I've seen. Like I said, the first one, the first first one I've seen was still one of the best ones I've seen. That's one of the one of the best ones I've seen too. But Halloween 2018 also compares both of them were both good. So um, the original one, Halloween, the first Halloween movie, the 1978 version, first the original one, and Halloween 2018, the both good films are really really enjoyed. Well, one of the best ones I've seen. Uh, but other Halloween movies are subpar to the other ones. But 
Yes. Yes, six out of ten. Of course. And I'll try my best to do more videos. I'll try my best to do uh try my best to get But the thing is, I couldn't find a video to watch it somewhere. But eventually, when it does, I'll definitely do a video on this post too. Best as possibly can when I get a chance to do it. But until then, guys, stay safe and happy spooky Halloween on October 31st. And have a spooky spooky Halloween, guys. And yes, I hope you guys try some awesome cool Halloween stuff and enjoy yourself. Yeah, enjoy your Halloween time. Yeah, I've seen a lot of cool Halloween decorations. YouTube and really, really good. And my favorite one was Stranger Things. They have somebody literally made a Stranger Things customized house. That's pretty dope. I uh, literally put a put a um, what's her name? Yeah, uh, one of the characters, um, Max, floating on top of the hair. So you can see her, not see her face, but literally made her float on a hot that literally happened when they put a lot of monsters. On the thing over on the grass, and a lot of interesting things. It's pretty cool. One neighbor says, No, we don't need that. And uh, that's just kind of like really, I don't know why I literally mess up a Halloween fun. As a neighbor, don't be a dork. Let them have fun. It's Halloween. I don't want to think. Don't be a douchebag. Let them have fun. It's Halloween. That's most decoration should be. Yeah, it could be distraction, of course, but they're just doing it for fun. You know? Ignore the bad people, bad things, just do, do your thing and just have fun with it. Enjoy yourself. Make a Halloween interesting thing for you. If you make people happy with that, it's cool for you, man. Awesome, I do respect the fact that you're making your own interesting things and making people happy of your own thing. It's pretty cool. Plus, I like show you things anyway, so. I like it. Other than that, guys, uh, I hope you guys also see Bleach. Bleach, I think episode 2 is already out, so uh, episode 2 is already out. So episode 1 is also already aired and finished. Episode 2 should be already came out already. Maybe it came out yesterday, I think. But we get a, we get a late because I'm in India. I think that's very, very late. It comes out very, very late for us. But it's, I think, the same time or a little bit different timing coming on there. So. Bleach. I've not seen Bleach episode 2 just yet. I'm going to see it and I'll let you guys know how Bleach causes your butt to causes your butt work when it's out. Maybe do a movie on it too. Who knows? I'll probably do a movie for the entire Bleach story. No, it's without your butt work if I get time to do that. So, happy Halloween guys. Have a spooky day and see you guys next time on um, other awesome stuff. I'll just go.